ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Gifford. I'm delighted to be a part of the sellout evening. Uh, I can tell you one thing. I have never been in a room with so many great names. I've been to a lot of dinners, and you have, and they have. I don't think you're going to quite believe the people you're going to meet tonight. With all the great athletes here, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm walking around, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe. It's an incredible night. Boy, am I glad I came. Thank you very much for your very kind welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So I think, Mom, Dad, this is for you. Boy, I'm sure glad to be, be a part of a team that's helping. Um, wow, this thing's heavy. It's my pleasure to be here tonight. Thrill for me to be here. I would like to thank you for including me in this. A wonderful chemistry among all of us. You people really do things right out here. It's great to be home. I love L.A. <laughs> I got to tell you, I feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, receiving a Lifetime uh, Achievement Award. You know, I don't feel like I've coached a lifetime, but I ran into Jimmy Johnson down here and he said, what are you talking about? You've been alive and dead at least three or four times since you've been coaching. <laughs> I appreciate it, Jimmy, for reminding me of that. Uh, you guys are probably looking at my hair like, what the world's going on with my hair? <laughs> I'll make it the most rock star weekend you've ever had. I want y'all to put your hands together for my homeboy and my cousin, Big Snoop Dogg. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, so we gotta tone it down, please. I thought they said it was world class athletes in here. <laughs> and it all it gives me great pleasure to present Athlete of the Year to the real deal, Holy Feet. MVP, most valuable player and person, ladies and gentlemen, Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you again, Kobe. Thank you, Cedar Side and I. And kids, follow your dreams. Most valuable athlete of the year goes to my best friend, a spectacular guy, Kobe Bryant. I can't believe about three and a half years ago, I was ready to go to blows with this guy. My best friend, my husband, Wayne Gretzky. We came a long way for the sport of hockey in the city of Los Angeles and the state of California. They call him Melo. And this Denver Nuggets for is so gifted as a player that he somehow makes it look easy. Please welcome a man who's never taken a bad sports illustrated cover shot, Joe Montana. I'd like for you to give a great round of applause to not only the champ, but the greatest person in the world, Muhammad Ali. Appreciate all my fans. One day I hope to meet all of them in person. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Barry, Mr. Bobby Brown. It's not for me to judge or to say who was the best, but I believe you're the best of your year, and I, and I have to say that. I felt it was only fair to present an award to the man who, in turn, has presented me three awards by the name of World Championships. Congratulations, Pat. I've been to many benefits over the years, but I think this is a tremendous show. The youth is our future. Being not just for what I've done on the playing fields and the courts, but just for life itself. And I've worked hard, and I'm still working hard today to try to become that, the type of player that I want to become. I'm not there yet, but I'm having a lot of fun trying to get there. I was commenting to Jim Hill, I was one of the few handful that was here originally when this began, and I remember what a tremendous thrill it was. Without your great support, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much. For you to have the quality athletes that you have here today, it's an honor in your, in your name. I like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, there's nothing that can beat family, faith, and friends. If you have that, you have everything. This is a moment that I will take to my grave. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much. This award is about hope. The hope and courage I got from others who have come before me, and the hope I have instilled in those individuals still in the closet. I was adopted when I was very young, and that probably wouldn't have happened if my parents didn't lose two children to genetic heart defects. Just remember why we are here tonight amidst all this 
Glamour. There's no greater resource in America than our kids. And it's our job, the athlete's job, to guide them. Get them outside playing and using their bodies and their minds as instruments and to be creative. What Cedar sinai is doing is they're being proactive and they're finding problems before they happen. It's crucial that all of us get involved. It makes you feel even better about yourself and sometimes we don't understand how blessed we are. There are a lot of things that help you be successful. Believe that there is a great day and a better tomorrow. You have a dream, anything's possible. Don't worry about what anyone else has to say. But it also takes a lot of hard work and dedication. When someone says you can't do anything, you don't take that as the answer. No matter what your gift is in life, you need someone there to push you. I want to thank Cedars for this award. It's for all the work that they do with uh, genetic research. Obviously, this is a, an amazing cause. When I look into the crowd today, I see many people who are great inspirations to me. So thanks again for putting me on this spectacular team. This is what it's all about. It's not about me. I'm unbelievably grateful for what Sports Spectacular has done. And thank you to the doctors and researchers and all of you here tonight. And especially those of you who've been doing this for, for a lot of years, for, for staying with it. Tremendous organization. You don't have this type of success without putting your heart into anything. And congratulations to all the doctors because, like I said, they're the true heroes tonight. They're the true superstars. Nothing else matters apart from them. So thank you very much.